Hello and welcome on 360 Spell on Trust TV. I am Adini Aji Shafe. We'll quickly look at uh, stories trending in the world of sport as we talk about uh, Confederations Cup, Rivers United, Rice Cup over or dealing Benghazi. Well, two Nigerian teams, Rivers United and Plateau United, who will be fighting for honors in the CAF Confederation Cup, the second tier of CAF Interclub competition. But right now, uh, Rivers United are saying they have been treated somehow when it comes to the fans of uh, uh, Al Nasri of Benghazi. In fact, while they were training yesterday, they were stoned and uh, they were actually uh, harassed by the fans of Al uh, Benghazi. Now they have written uh, some letters uh, rather to CAF. And quickly, let's look at uh, the tweets that they made on their Twitter handle where they say since our arrival in Benghazi and up till this moment, we do not have any security personnel attached to our team. Coming from Rivers United and the second one say this evening at our training in a private facility secured in Benghazi, fans of Al Nasri came, came in in their number signing war songs, uh, singing war songs rather and thrown stones at us they even followed us to our hotel coming from rivers united and from the way it is this uh, we know is uh, not african antics they are used to it so and we just have to uh, <laughs> uh it's, it's high time that rivers united we have to uh, or nigerian government or nigerian football federation needs to do something concerning this although we need to let you know that i have olawale peters in the studio will be joining us to talk for this hour good to have you yeah good and uh, good evening Adini. it's my pleasure to be back to the studio <clears throat> honestly uh, when it comes to football or the giving <clears throat> when it comes to um i don't want to use the word tout mm. sincerely i don't want to use that one and i think the calf they really need to do something because you can't you can't be playing in an unsaved environment imagine in the private facility they still have access to enter the private facility and you are hosting a country you do not even give them a security attached to them mm. they were in the rivers last week where rivers united trashed them five nil from that point, they knew it's over for them. So what they want to do now is to result into intimidation mm. or to injure our players before the match. They are expected to play tomorrow. Oh, oh, when, yes, when is that? Yeah, they are playing tomorrow. And we are having this. <laughs> are they doing the another fall of Benghazi or what? Mm. I don't understand. So I think it is high time. Cav really needs to come out very strong when it comes to uh, the way the North African football is not a do or, or die, die affair. affair. Sincerely, it even promotes unity. The only time in this country mm. why you see everybody coming together as one, singing praises of the players, where you don't remember if you are a Christian, Muslim, Aosa, Igbo, Yoruba, is when we are playing football. Look at the joy that the uh, Falconers they brought when they went to India. The Flamingos. The Flamingos, sorry. You can't differentiate. So that is what sport is all about. Mm. It's not about Nigeria and Algeria. No. Tunisia or Egypt. No. Or Morocco or, or Libya. Morocco. We are all Africa. If you are doing this among ourselves, what if we go outside the country? What will have happened? Sincerely, CAF needs to really come out. And the only message that they can get and get loud they should investigate this, uh, allegation. this allegation. If it is found to be true, if you don't even allow them to play, it's just a walkover for them. That is the best way to deal with it. Look at when we are having the issue of uh, pitch invasion in Europe. They came with this very uh, severe, severe punishment. punishment. That if there is a pitch invasion, the supporters involved, they will not allow them to enter the pitch again. They won't go and watch any live match again. Mm. The club will be fine. So after that, we've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of issues have been, have been resolved. So if there's no penalty for the, sorry to use the adjective, the barbaric way that the North Africans are treating their guests, since, sincerely, it will continue, it will continue to go. It's not about fining. Mm. It's about fining and pay. The penalties they don't pay. pay. They have the money, but it's not about finding. You do something that either deducting their points or their point, even next next season make it automatic for them. Even if you top your league, you are not playing. You are not playing. Once you we have, not recognize your league, your league, your league. Inter yes. inter 
If you have this in place, believe me, they will sit up. Because even their government, they need to answer, how can you have a host country? There is a state that our players have, mm. not even about the country. The state, the club, and the country, nobody found it uh, important to provide security. security. So what and, if they are, and, uh, they are attacked? And are they saying, they were attacked. Mm. They were attacked. Singing war song. That's how war starts now. And now they are trying to at least drain Rivers United, and I'm sure the same thing will be happening uh, over there with the Plateau United, mm. just to emotionally make them feel less, so that before they play the game, uh, mm. they won't have anything in them because they are looking at oh five nil. They how can we? How yeah. can we? <laughs> how can we uh, turn this around? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very sure they will be in for for a shock because mm. we, we in this country, we are determined people. When you want to bring us down. That's when we rise. Think we cannot do it. That's when we rise. Don't be surprised. We'll be them there also. Good one. We'll show them that we are Nigerians. If you can go to where we are going through in this country and we are surviving, you. What? Who? who? <laughs> Don't try us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We've been talking constantly. Car competitions, mm -hmm. uh, competition have been involving Plateau United and Rivers United. Well, to let you know, Rivers United won their first leg 5 0 in Port Harcourt at the Adoki Amasiemeka Stadium, while Plateau United won 4-1 here in Abuja, as they will be going there to play against uh, al Akda, also Benghazi. Well, the two teams are right now doing everything possible to make sure they demoralize the Nigerian teams, but they should just not give up. They never say die spirit in Nigerian teams will be there to make sure they work hard. At least uh, all Plateau United needs to make sure they don't uh, get beyond three. Because right now, uh, in fact, <coughs> I, I like that I'll be looking at if they can score two, uh, three goals to add to one, they got here to be four, four, and they will be qualifying. Well, all Plateau needs to make sure is make sure they don't go beyond two goals. Definitely. They both. really need to hold on to that. For, for Rivers, come out and play your game. Don't be defensive. If they are defensive, mm -hmm. they could be hammering them. Just like one analyst said yesterday. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go there. Uh, don't go with the mindset that we are leading 5 0 and we shouldn't concede more than three, four goals. Mm. We don't do that. Once we concede one, two, three goals, probably in the first half or dime in the second half, the pressure will be more on you. A lot of mistakes will be coming in. The same thing with Plessy United. We shouldn't be looking at they shouldn't concede more than two goals. They should have this, uh, they should have this self motivation that if you can beat them 5 0 or 2 0 or 3 0 here, definitely we can beat them also because football is not about. Home or away now. It's about what you have, the strategy you adopt, especially mm. when it comes to communication. So that's what you just need to really do. So I believe they shouldn't go to go and defend. They shouldn't do that. They shouldn't do the mistake, or they shouldn't make the mistake that the Super Eagles made when we went to Ghana, Ghana to play for the qualifying of the World Cup. That okay, let's try and be defensive and play new new. When it comes to Nigeria, they collect. They collect it. Unfortunately, we are the one that collected. What's the way? What's the way to go? We collected. That was that, that particular <laughs> phrase. Well, it's really making way because uh, Ghana made us to collect. Well, we just have to move on now quickly. Let's look at the MBBF Super Eight. Uh, matches have been going on over there in Lagos. We look at uh, Quara Falcons defeating Benway Brave 65 to 58, where Quara Falcons won the first uh, loss in the first quarter, but they bounced back in the second quarter with 17 against 14, 13 12 in third quarter. And fourth quarter, you have 20 against 14 for Quara Falcons, the team that did well in their first game that took place just on Monday. Now, Gombe Bulls uh, against Lagos Island, that's 66 55 in that particular uh, game. They are talking about the Nigerian professional basketball. Ball League, MBBF, uh, Super 8 taking place in Lagos. Eight teams are fighting for honors. Lagos Islanders, Gumbi Bulls, 14-14 the first quarter. Second quarter, 29-13 uh, in favor of Gumbi Bulls. And in third quarter, 10-12 in favor of Lagos Islanders. Why the fourth quarter went the way of uh, Lagos Islanders, 16-13. But right now, Gumbi Bulls smiled on with 10 extra points ahead of uh, Lagos Island at 65 there. Quickly, we run through another set of uh, draw that was made yesterday by Europa uh, UEFA. This time around, it's going to be Europa uh, League knockout draw. Looking at Barcelona facing Manchester United. A big battle there. <laughs> uh, Barcelona fans, <laughs> they are really looking at, well, they will beat Man United. Well, we wait to see what's going to be happening there. Juventus Nantes, Sporting, Mitigland of Denmark, and you have Reigns against Shakhtar Donetsk, Ajax Union Berlin, Bayern Leverkusen, Monaco, Sevilla, PSV, Roma, Salzburg. See how the mighty are falling. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona, Man United are fighting it's, uh, in Europa it's League. So, it's, it's, it's so funny that we have the likes of Barcelona and Manchester United 
finding themselves in this situation. Mm. But it happens. That's football for you. And you can't be, <clears throat> it's even about life. You can't be at, um, at the prime of your career all through. There will be, there'll be a time that you have to do what you have to do, but don't not dive. Mm. Don't not dive because we are not diving. That means we are coming down. The trajectory will be very, very, very fast. So that's why I think the problem is. So Barcelona, I don't know what is wrong with them. And I'm very sure Chelsea fans, they are very happy. Mm, they are very happy about <laughs> what happens to them because the way they are hijacking left, right, center, all their players, all their players, it's like they want to win. All the players they want to buy. Let, let me use that word. They want to buy all the hijack. <laughs> Irrespective of what happened, this is where they are, mm. and we know where Chelsea is currently right when now. It comes to Champions League. So let's see what will happen. And Manchester United, they don't have a good history when it comes to playing a Spanish team. That's the truth. So, but um, let's see, let's see what's going to happen. Let's see what Ronaldo will do. Let's see what, because Manchester United, what I'm still, I still don't get about them. Sincerely, they have players. Mm. And at the beginning of this season, with all the players that came in, we thought they're going to make a statement. But sincerely, I've not seen any improvement. I've not seen any improvement in them. So, I, I don't know how to dissect what their problem, just like the Barcelona household. Because um, Xavi also was giving the free hand. Just tell us what you need to we'll deliver. Get, we just get it done what for we, you. What we need is give us what you need to deliver. We'll get it done. And he told them, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. And they went for all the players. They went for all the players. The likes of Lewandowski. They got, but they are still not getting it right. And if you ask me, honestly, it's uh, just the... The problem we, we had with the likes of Lampard, we had with the likes of um, Gerard. Mm. When uh, you are taking a responsibility that is more than your experience, and people are hyping you without you having the experience to deliver, is to get to a stage that that experience will really, really count. Look at PSG match uh, and against uh, their last match. Mm. The coach did not communicate to them. What to do? Not what to do that what is at stake. What is at stake in the sense that um, Benfica, they're already leading by 6 nil. And based on that, they score more go away than PSG. PSG. And for PSG to top the group. the group, they have to score more goals because they have the same points. The same goal if difference. I, everything was the same. The same. So the only thing that made Benfica to top is because they have Mm. I had higher number of go and um, go uh, away go than PSG. PSG. So that is experience. The likes of Mourinho, Asenwenga, Alex Ferguson and Co. They will have done all their statistics mm. and look at all the issues. By the time the game against uh, Juve, Ju uh, Juventus is one one two nil, someone is already watching what Maccabi, Maccabi Haifa and uh, Benfica are well, playing. Well, actually playing. They, they will now look at oh, this is where we are right now. Pass that message across to the pitch. He didn't do that. By the time they finished that match, they thought they topped the group. Not knowing that mathematically, mathematically they're actually second. They are, they are, they are second. <laughs> so that's, way, that's the problem I think we're having with the likes of uh, Xavi mm. of Barcelona. Because Despite everything Barcelona, at your disposal. Barcelona is a trademark, it's a brand. Take it or leave it. Whoever is playing for Barcelona, they're not playing for Barcelona of today. They look at the Barcelona of the Iniesta himself. Uh, Messi, Zavi himself. Zavi himself, that is what people are looking at. Just like Manchester United. So that's why we do say that this player, this set of players we have now, they don't have respect for that club, for that brand, for, for that, that jersey. Mm. Most what? of them, they are not even expected to move closer to the dressing room. At all. Talk less of being in Manchester or Barcelona. What a way to go. Look at the analysis there. Manchester United against Bayern and uh, Barcelona, I beg your pardon. That will be coming up in February. They will be fighting for honors. And it's going to be who wins this race between the two teams. Right now, we know uh, that uh, to some extent, Manchester United, Barcelona play a little off the game when it comes to this competition. Now, we move away from Europa League. Let's talk about Europa Conference League. Fixtures were also rather the draw was also made. Let's look at the draw of Europa Conference League, where Karabakh of Azerbaijan will be playing against Ghent of Belgium, Transor Sport against Basel, Lazio. They will be hosting CFR Kloge in Rome, Bodo Glimt. They will be at home against Lech Posna of uh, Poland, Fiorentina, Italy against Braga. That's uh, from Portugal. Lanaka will be hosting Dnipro, while Charity Raspo uh, that will be at home against Partizan Belgrade, while Andalets of uh, Netherlands will be away to Ludogorets. 
last grad of Bulgaria. Those are the teams that will be playing in the Europa Conference League. Tough one. Okay, um, tough one, but I'm sure a lot of people are hearing <laughs> me. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> a lot of people will be like, <laughs> what, what, which team is the Nipro? So even because mm. of uh, Roma that won the Europa Conference League last season, I'm sure a lot of people don't know that we have a top tier uh, uh, UEFA league. UFA league, Champions League, Europa League, and Europa Conference, Conference. League. I think there's need for uh, UEFA to do more when it to comes popularize to, this. to popularize this also. Then if you look at the team that we have there, the non-team, we have the like of Basel, Gent, Lazio, Bordeaux, and Bordeaux too, they are very, very braga too, Sheriff. Let's see what will happen, but who knows? Maybe an unknown team from among what them. we have here among them will be the one to take the lead. But experience and confidence, it matters a lot mm. when it comes to this uh, Europa competition. Some of them are playing for the first time. So even the crowd alone, the crowd alone, it is something. Mm. So imagine you are going to Manchester United to play at Old Trafford, and all your life you've been dreaming of going to. It happened when uh, Man Manchester United and uh, other uh, team yes. played. They lost, but it was still smiling that you They were celebrating. No, he, he himself <laughs> he celebrated that he fulfilled his, his dream. dream of playing against Manchester United and at Old Trafford. Hmm. So that is what will be for most of this team also. They still need to get the experience, but I think we need to do a lot when it comes to um, at least, uh, at least populari popularizing this type of competition to because very soon we'll have some teams that will think they are the best that will be playing in this Europa conference. The likes of Manchester United, if players not taking, maybe this is where they will find themselves very soon. Oh my goodness, my United fan won't be praying for that. Now quickly, matches will be coming up so this evening and we'll quickly look at it. La Liga, Italia, Serie and German Bundesliga. In La Liga, El Che be at home against Girona, Valado leads play away to Atletico Bilbao while Osasuna play against Barcelona. We saw mm -hmm. what Rayo Vallecano did to Real. So that could spur Osasuna to action, that if Rayo could do it, they too can do it against Barcelona. And you know, between Osasuna and Barcelona, it has always been a tense match anytime the two, mm. the two clubs meet and they play. But also Barcelona, uh, they have something to, uh, to bring themselves up, to really, really motivate themselves. What do I mean? Now, they are not in the Champions League now, they are in the Europa League again. That is a setback on its own. Currently now, they are, they are leading, they are topping the league with two points. 34, why Real Madrid is two points. If they could win this, so that means they are going to extend the, uh, the gap between them and Real Madrid to five points. Like I rightly said, Osasuna also will be looking at, uh, if uh, Vallecano can do this, which we should be able Madrid, to do it. Which we have done it before, mm. and they are playing us at home also. So let's do let it us again. Do it again. So it's going to be an interesting, interesting match to, to, to watch. To watch. Good one, Bea. Let's go German now. Matches also be coming up. A lot of matches there. We quickly look at German Bundesliga games that will be coming up this evening. You have uh, the likes of uh, Bayern will be playing that game. Bayern will play uh, rather uh, Bayern at home against Werder Bremen. But Dortmund against Wolfsburg at the uh, Volkswagen Arena. Stuttgart be at home against Archer Berlin. Bochum is for the against Borussia Mönchengladbach. But uh, the two matches that a lot of people want to see now: Wolfsburg, Borussia Dortmund. Mm -hmm. Bayern at the Allianz Arena against Werder Bremen. Yeah, I, top um, matches. Uh, yes, it's going to be very tough, but I see uh, Bayern Munich having an easy ride. Mm. Now they are back to the top so of the table. They are back to the top of the table now, so they want to keep the momentum going. Mm. And they have, they want, an up team right now, they want to maintain their current position before the World Cup break, which is starting on the 13th mm. of this month. That's by, by weekend, most of the leagues will be suspended until December 25th or 26th, yes. when they are resuming back again so they want to i mean they want to end on the high note so this is going to be a match that is a must win but since they are playing at the same time mm. Borussia Dortmund will not want to be worried about what Bayern Munich is doing against Werder Bremen their own is to make sure that they win their own match and do their own do their own bit so it's going to be an interesting match also to watch at the German Bundesliga. Good one there. Bayern, Werder, Bremen. Tough man to see now. Quickly, let's go Italian. Matches will also be coming up Italian. So they are where Napoli will be playing against Empoli. You have two Nigerians there. Tyrone Ebrehi will be playing away to Victor Osime. Napoli at the city of Naples there. Diego Maradona Stadium. That's where they'll be fighting for honor. Spezia, Udinese, Cremonese, AC Milan. We have uh, uh, Nigeria in Cremonese. Who, hopefully, he can score against AC Milan. Yeah, he will try to do his best <laughs> score against um, AC Milan. <coughs> then also, I think Napoli, then the then very good top form right now. I, I had a conversation with someone about three, four days ago, 
and I told him, I argued with him that um, Victor Osime is the deadliest and the best striker we have in the world now. And he said, no, it is Haaland. And I said, I'm going to prove it to you. Haaland is a box player. He's not a team player. Osime is a team, team player. <laughs> player. He's a box-to-box -box striker. Hmm. You see him running from every the, corner. From the word let go <laughs> till to the, the end. end. But he's not getting the media attention like uh, Haaland and what have you. Uh, just imagine if Osime is in England and he's actually doing so where the way he's doing with Napoli now, with uh, let's assume uh, uh, they are the one topping uh, Serie A now yeah, sure. with Asna, just an, as, uh, an example. The, 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 the press, the way, the, the hype and everything that will be following Osime now that is with Napoli topping the table and also among the top scorers in uh, Italia Serie A, Converting that to England, where he's among the top scorers, and it's also doing so well for the club that he's topping. I don't believe the English press, mm. <coughs> and I don't trust this. The English press, right? I don't, I don't, I don't trust. They could be biased. They're biased. They're biased. They're biased. We all know that now. What are you saying about Grealish? That was bought for over 100 million pounds. Okay, quiet. And he has scored about only six goals for almost two seasons. If we were to be an Italian or, be an Italian or, or, or Brazilian, Brazilian or Brazilian, you know what will have happened? They will have killed the person's career. So that is the reason why I said I don't really trust them. Even if it's in England, they will not look at his side because they select who they want to give that attention to. That's the truth. So me, I don't even think Osimhen should go to England. That's the truth. He's doing very well where he is in Napoli, but he can go to Spain also. Let's see. Let's who see. knows? Maybe who Real Madrid, Real Madrid Barcelona, Barcelona can come. He can do very well. He's a player that is rugged, that can fit in into any pattern because he's very hardworking, he's very agile. So I see them winning tonight to maintain their top uh, in the uh, league. Uh, someone was actually talking about him. Maybe he can make it, it, this guy will fit like Bayern, like you know, so, so <coughs> like a replica of when they had Lewandowski. Okay, yeah, Bayern German league is also a very good one for him. He was there before. He, he was, was there in before, Wolfsburg. Exactly. So I think it's not a bad idea for him. But uh, England, sincerely, <laughs> you don't know these people very well. I, I saw it, a particular message yesterday from Chelsea fans that this is like Drogba. They should get, uh, <laughs> they should get uh, Osime. Osime. Uh, he plays like Drogba. They need him and all that. And I'm sure like if it were to be Mourinho at the end of affairs in Chelsea, it would be eyeing him because he loves African players. Yes, he does. He loves African players a lot. I think there was even a time he made a statement and to FIFA mm. that they should ban African players from playing, playing for, other, for countries. other countries. They should play for their own. So that means he loved, he loved the continent. Probably he married from Angola. <laughs> so he's supporting his in-law. Uh, you just have to support your in-law. <laughs> so that's, 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 that's why I see. But I think it's a very good one. I see Napoli winning tonight. Mm. And I see Simila winning tonight also. But I think Osimhen should continue doing what he's doing. He shouldn't get distracted. And he's a disciplined player also. He's a disciplined player. He's not really engaging the off the pitch issues. Tantrums and all that. No, he doesn't. He doesn't do that. The only tantrum you see between is between him and Asisat Oshola. They know how to act. <laughs> how to enter. Uh, they, are all, they are both uh, Lagos based uh, players before they moved out, so they know how to uh, at least uh, uh, follow each other or throw some tantrums they got, yeah, about so themselves. I we've been looking at. Good. We've been looking at matches uh, taking place in Italia, Serie A, La Liga. And also German Bundesliga matches will be coming up. Uh, we just have to see all these games. And before we go, let's quickly run through uh, two transfer stories that has to do with Southampton. We are right now Luton Town manager. His name is uh, Nathan Jones. He's leading the race to become Southampton manager. Well, a lot of coaches have been touted to be the one to be appointed. But right now, Luton Town, Nathan Jones seems to be having an edge among all the managers. It's like uh, the hierarchy wants him to come from Luton Town to join Southampton. Okay, and I hope uh, they are not making the appointment based on emotion mm. or based on what is going on with Southampton currently. Now, in fact, their coach is supposed to have sacked him long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> they left him. They're supposed so to they, they him kept him and so they, they, they got him. the result. They got the result. So I think they should really take take their time. The coach that is coming in also should not be in hurry that oh, I made a job, I want to play, I want to coach in the Premier League. So whatever you give me, no. Look at what is happening to the magician now. Mm. You know the magician? Mm, I don't know. I, I, want, yeah, I, wanted to, I wanted to mention the name of <laughs> the, the Chelsea coach. <laughs> when he came, he came with his magic wand. His magic wand. Look at the magic now. The magic is fading out. Uh, maybe the, enemy, out. the enemies are at work. There's no enemy. <laughs> if you don't prepare very well, how do you want to succeed? So that's what happened. So I think the coach also should be very careful mm. in taking 
the appointment then the club also they should know what they want what do they want do they still want to remain in the premier league hmm. if they want to remain in premier league they need a coach with the experience coach that have done it before look at newcastle and uh, over their coach look at what he's doing now but they gave him time for the past two years now look at where newcastle look at where they are right now hmm. so that is what i think both the coach and the club they need to do and agree they shouldn't do a uh, Chelsea style. They shouldn't uh, do Chelsea style. Uh, Harry Potter. Well, we've just been looking at some listening stories there. Well, good one for Southampton. Let them just get the best coach that can get them out of relegation. And before we go, we look at the fact that Arsenal, yes, they are topping the table. They want to remain there right now. And that's why they are planning against January to make sure they get players. Looking at that particular story, Arsenal are prepared to spend in January transfer window to maintain title challenge. Okay, a good one. Mm. Sincerely, Arsenal have they surprised themselves. Hmm. Not even everybody. They've yeah. surprised themselves because <laughs> they don't know that and they, they can be, stay up there. Be where they are right now. If any Arsenal fan tells you that they believe that they'll be where they are today, it's a lie. That's the truth. So and I be, uh, I believe in this philosophy that you don't change a winning team. Don't bring in someone that will come and distort the plan and the players that you have. Yes, it's good for you to have plan B, but you have enough players that are motivated. Currently, even from your bench, you bring in anybody. Look at when uh, Saka had injury and he was substituted. The substitute that came in scored two goals. So that shows that you have people that can come in and perform the wonder. So just continue keeping them. Don't do what they call panic buying. You do one panic buying, it can destabilize the team, mm. sincerely. So I think to me, they should maintain the tempo. Let's see what will happen. June is still very far from now. June is very far from now. It's a marathon, not a sprint. When it comes to football, 38 games there, where well, they are down with 13 and they are topping the table. They want to make sure the remaining 25 games they'll be playing. They want to maintain that momentum of remaining at the top of the EPL, coming from the Gunner, the Arsenal, where London is now red. Well, we just have to go right now. We want to appreciate you for at least uh, giving those uh, uh, standard analysis. Thank you so much, and Adeni. And please, point of correction. And London, London is not red. London, London, cannot, <laughs> London cannot be red. As if I knew I would have said London, London, oh cannot, London cannot be red. It's just a matter of time. Nobody wants danger. Oh my Nobody goodness. Nobody wants danger. Okay, yeah. let's see. London is red and blue now, for now. Let's, let's, let's add white also. <laughs> and it's also white. We've got all the amounts for yeah, exactly. a wonderful time here on the show. 360 Sports. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.